Hi again everyone, welcome to Lamy's Travels. Um, we're in Edinburgh now, but I need to finish off our boat cruise down the Rhine River. So this is going to cover days four and five. Day four was um, really, really bland um, and not much to see. Uh, so that's why I've decided to include it with day five, which is much more interesting. So let's get on with the show and let you know where we went and what we did. So day or well, we can go away. Day uh, four, we rode from uh, Koblenz along the Rhine River along here. Uh, past this is all industrial area here, and we finished up uh, meeting the boat at Andernach. It was only a 25 kilometer ride. Uh, nothing of note to show. In fact, the highlight of the day was riding past a nuclear power plant. And that was the uh, the cooling tower. And here's the dome here hidden away. So that was the highlight of the day. Um, but we did come to a very nice little town called Andernack, Andernack which um, had this interesting uh, fountain. This little guy, which is like a court jester, spouts water about every 15 seconds to unsuspecting people as they walk past. So that was a bit of fun. This is part of the old town wall. Uh, this is one of the gates into the city, which is um, there's a couple of those around about, which was nice. Uh, the round tower, which was a defensive structure, as you can see there, it was um, it was nice. And another one of the entrances into the town. Um, this go back only over a thousand years. There's Jacqueline down in the corner. They give you a bit of an idea of the size of it. And this is one of the palaces that was attached to the uh, city wall. One of the cool things about this town is that there was a moat around this building, and within the moat they had chickens grazing around, a little chicken coop. And they're very much into uh, food being grown uh, around the town for the people to use. So, um, so that was quite a, a unique uh, setup. And, and this is a little thing that you see around here. Um, this is a, a symbol that's left at different places to do with the Epiphany on the sixth of January um, to say that the house has been blessed. So the C and the M and the B. Are actually the Dutch name, Dutch German names for the three kings that brought the gifts to Jesus, and the twenty and the forty obviously represents the year that this house was blessed. So we saw that around in a few places, quite interesting. Uh, so day five beckoned, and day five we took an alternate route, a much more interesting route, which took us to from Andernach again along the river. Now uh, we stopped at a beautiful place called Rhinelands, which we'll talk about in a minute, Remagen, and then up to Konig's Winter and on to Bonn, which is the old capital of West Germany before the reunification. Uh, so this is a nice uh, house that we saw on the way. You can see some of the dates on it, 1706 and 1395. Uh, this is a really cool castle with, whose name escapes me as we were riding along the, uh, the river. Uh, and a really nice little town that we just rode past. It was right on the river, lots of little cafes and things. It was a bit early in the morning. They were still preparing. We headed off early this day, so this was maybe 9 o'clock, so they weren't quite set up for customers. Uh, Jacqueline, by one of the very few bridges that we uh, we crossed, a little timber bridge. And this is Linz, which was on the opposite bank of the river, on the right-hand bank. We caught a little ferry across. And um, it's just full of these beautiful half-timber houses and uh, all colourful, and um, it was really a beautiful little uh, little town, all pedestrianised in the old town. We think these people are either the, the parents or the grandparents and have just um, had a baby arrive because of the, the dummy and the little shoes and the grow suits. We assume it was a boy because of the blue ribbon um, and boobs and stuff. So I think that's something unique to this area where they um, let you know uh, the arrival of a new baby uh, in the village. Uh, more beautiful little houses. This is quite a nice fountain in the town square. All these figures at the bottom here have all got articulated joints, so in the heads and the elbows, and, the, and you actually, actually move them into different shapes, so it made it a bit more interactive, which was uh, quite cool. Again, more of the uh, lovely little towns and window boxes. It really was a very nice... I'm glad we stopped and took the little ferry across to check it out because it was a nice little spot. There's loads of these nice chairs on the riverside as you ride along and in the towns. Um, they're very relaxing and comfortable. At the night time, you see people having a wine there and in the cities, just uh, relaxing. This is Remagen. This is the, the bridge at Remagen, the famous bridge, which was the 
only crossing point left on the over the Rhine River when the Allies were coming through in 1945. So the Allies got many, many troops across before the bridge actually did collapse and 30 servicemen were in fact killed, which we didn't know until we uh, read the sign. And this is just the back of the, the bridge and how it would have looked if it continued on. Uh, we stopped at a nice little camping ground for some lunch and a beer um, by the river, very, very pleasant. And then this is Connig's Winter Castle on the opposite side of the bridge. That's a ruin or something else. And this picture show there are beaches along the Rhine River. So this is a, a nice beach. People can walk the dogs or sit in the sunshine or swim in the river. This is Bonn, and Bonn is, in fact, where Mozart was born and spent his early years. So this is a statue to Beethoven here outside the post office. Uh, a random tower within the, the city of Bonn. Uh, this is where Beethoven was born, uh, and this was a really nice church we happened across that was actually playing Beethoven music live uh, in the afternoon. Um, it was a really nice setting to just sit and listen to some nice classical music, and there's the altar, which is very beautiful. And to finish off our tour of Bonn, this is the town hall, which is uh, resplendent in all its colours, and that's just a close-up of the, uh, the coat of arms at the top. And this is the, the, the Munster, the huge church, but uh, it was closed for renovation when we were there. So uh, that's it. So nice to see you all again, and I'll do another one of these tomorrow to catch up on our last day, which was, um, oh, no, day six and seven. We've got another two to do. So anyway, until then, uh, take it easy, and uh, see you all later. Bye-bye.